Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to be going to Walmart, one of the local super centers. And this was just kind of an impromptu video. I didn't plan it in advance. Um, I went in there to get some, some gum and some chewy things like gummies. My younger son is getting his braces off next week and he hasn't been able to chew gum for a little over two years. So I'm going to surprise him after he gets his braces off. I'm just going to do a little, like a little gift basket with different types of gum and stuff in it, stuff that he likes. So, but while I was in there, they have this super big candy and gum section in there. It's, it's, it's just super big, right? So I had my phone with me. I didn't use a microphone or anything. I just took my phone out and we started, or I started by organizing the chewing gum and the bubble gum and stuff. And then we just kind of move on down to some of the other candy items. I didn't do the whole aisle. I'm hoping one day to do a video. It would be really long, but maybe do the entire aisle, but it's really long. You will see what I mean. I also want to point out that about eight minutes or so into this video, I will flip the, uh, the phone. I started out recording one way and then about eight minutes in, I decided to change it. So I flipped it the other way. So just let me know in the comments if you preferred the first part, which is approximately eight minutes or the second part, which is quite a bit longer. The second, the second way that I did a lot more that way. Um, if you like one better than the other, let me know. If you like them the same, if you don't like either, just let me know. I would be really interested to, in hearing your thoughts on it. In this store, the music wasn't really loud, so I didn't really have to worry about that so much. And because if with music in the video, you have to worry about copyrights. So that's why sometimes I use the microphone because it, it doesn't pick up all that. So without further ado, let's go check out the stuff at Walmart. Yes. 
features. It says it won't stick to dental, to most dental work. Although I tried shooting this with braces and it totally stuck in my braces. This one is split. The tab on this one comes from the other side because it wants to be, it wants to be fancy. So it, it, it comes from the other side. Will it work? Yeah. it against myself to peel it. Okay, we have cobalt, rain, spearmint. Oh, I already knew where it was. Why was I looking for it? Okay, we have winter mint ascent. These sound like the names of movies you'd find at Dollar Tree. Strawberry flood and winter mint ascent. I don't know. What's up with this one? This Wrigley Spearmint. No, I did not. This one is one of my favorites. Extra Classic Bubble. It's really good and the flavor lasts. Extra Winter Fresh. Okay. These are Extra Peppermint. Five Spearmint Rain.
This is kind of in the way, but I can't really do anything about it. Okay. Nice. Oh, wow. This, woo. <laughs> that was so easy. You know, it's kind of depressing though. It looks really good, but look, look, everything else is a, a freaking disaster all the way down. We could be here all day. I mean, we could spend all day organizing candy. And one day we might do that, but I can't do it today. We have ice cubes, peppermint, hold on a minute, cinnamon. Um, I'm trying to figure out where this goes. Peppermint, cinnamon. No, that's eclipse. Icebreakers. I oh I B icebreakers. Cinnamon. Gray spearmint, but this is peppermint. Do we have an IB peppermint? Um, trident. We don't. I don't see a spot for this. Well, there's a double bubble. There. Peppermint. These are all peppermint, so I'm just gonna. It there. We have an Ice Cubes Art Arctic Grape, one of those. Here we have a big eight value, eight pack of double mint. Wow, that's a lot. Here we have naturally crafted chewing gum from Project 7. Spearmint, Spearmint Farms, Everest Peppermint. We have Starburst Gum. Juicy fruit, fruity chews. And then down here you have like bags of bubble gum, double bubble, bubble gum. There's another, there's more peppermint way back there. And something that was stolen. Somebody stole a wax melt. There's more gray. back in that cavernous darkness back there. Okay. okay. Gosh, you could get a huge bag of gumballs. Oh, you could get a tub of double bubble. Oh my word, look at that. 1082. I'm going to leave their shrink where they can find it. What's this? Fruit Loops gummies. Okay. I have no clue where that came from. See right here, this is the sugar free stuff. This is the little sugar free section. Oh my lord, these could have been anywhere. And yes, I'm probably looking right at it, but this is overwhelming. Like, you come over here and it's just like, oh my gosh. Look at all the gummies. Okay, we have some gummies here. Here we go. Oh, they're right there. We may straighten a little bit of this, too. Sour Punch Bite. Gummy. Wow, look at that big bag of gummy worms. Gosh. Three pounds of gummy worms for $4.88. Mm. You can get containers of fireballs. Look at that. A hundred, over a hundred pieces for nine seventy-two. Nice. Okay. Let me come back over here. This is my cart. It's okay. It's not going anywhere. There's not even anybody over here. We're good. Okay. Ice cubes. Ooh, cherry limeade. But I have so much pina colada kind of crowded out. Here's another spearmint. This one is not split. Mentos brush. The starburst is in the way. It is really in the way. Let's see. Actually, 
people get mad when I put these on the floor, and they get mad when I don't put them on the floor. So, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I have not yet developed the ability to levitate objects, so it's going to have to sit there. But look, there's another one back here. Facing for this display is not ideal. Okay, dentine ice. Dentine ice. I just saw you. Where were you? Oh, right in front of me. Okay, dentine ice. Here we go. Well, wow. Look at that. Look at that. You can actually find stuff now. Okay, great. Oh, uh oh. I didn't see all this. This is Eclipse Spearmint. I don't think it actually goes there, but um, I think this is one that they keep up by the registers. I think they only do the bags back here. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Here's another Strawberry Flood, and it's dusty, so it's probably been there for a bit. Um, okay, here we have Eclipse Winter Frost. some gum for my son. Now, he does not like cinnamon gum, but he does like bubble gum. So let's get him. I'm going to get him this because I know this is good. And he loves watermelon flavored stuff. I'm going to get him an extra sweet watermelon. Um, let's see. What else would he like over here? I think he would like the cherry limeade gum. I think he would like that. Um, maybe some little gumballs? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I think he would also like this strawberry starburst gum. I think he would like that. Yeah. Get him that. I think he would like that. He's not a big fan of minty gum, like spearmint. He doesn't really like that kind of gum, so I'm not going to get him that. Let's see. And for Mentos gum, they I think Mentos makes like a fruit flavored gum, but they don't have it. I would get him that one, but they don't. I don't see it. That's okay. That's okay. So, all right. So we have these packs here. Here I have four kinds of gum there, and I'm also going to get him. I'm going to get him one of these two because he's had no gum at all for two years. So get him that. I would do the big tub, but I, I'm not. I'm not quite. I don't quite want to do that. But um, all right. Okay. And. There are other chewy things that he hasn't been able to have. He doesn't like sour candy very much. He does like gummies, and I, I hate, well, he wasn't supposed to have gummies. He probably did. How about some Haribo rainbow worms? 
those are kind of chewy and he hasn't, he's not supposed to eat those. And maybe we'll let him try some Fruit Loops gummies too. Okay, so I'm going to just stop there. I think that will be enough for his little, I'm just going to put, you get a little basket and surprise him with that when he gets his braces off. He's getting them off next week, so yeah. All right. Look at all the Skittles. These are wild berry Skittles, the sharing size. Now these are laid in here like that. I like them better like that, but they fall over. falling off so I'm gonna just leave it the way they have it. Wow you could get a three pound bag of, of gold bears for $8.98. And here we have lifesavers and neon gummies. Skittles smoothies. These bags are hard to work with. I'm going to leave that one like that, though. We have little bags of Starburst, Sour Skittles, Mini Starburst, Fave Reds, and Original. Oh, what is this? I've never seen this. Starburst Swirlers Chewy Sticks. Two flavors in one. Interesting. Those look good. Those are $3.28. Starburst Original. Oh no, that's a big bag. That's for the smaller bag. Favorites. So they have different size bags. Up there they have the, the giant bag. This is three pounds, two ounces for $9.98. do not stand up very well. Wow, look at that. Over three pounds of original Starburst. Stay. Stay there. We have Pride Skittles. Sharing size. Hang on a minute, let's see now. This is for Wildberry and Original. Which is which? I don't know. I don't actually know. that These are different. And it's probably right in front of me. I don't. Okay, they're the same size. But it says one is Wildberry and one is Original. I don't know which is which. I don't know. I don't know how to tell them apart. It doesn't say. I don't know. Oh, well, hang on. You could look at the flavors. Duh. Okay, that's the original. Wait a minute. Those are the same. I'm not really sure. Okay. We have gold bears. Sour Kicks, their little shoes. That's cute. Sour Streamers. Twin Snakes. Star Mix. Dinosaurs. A Fantastic Mix. These are the ones that fell on the floor and just put them in a bag. Says they're new because they just thought of doing that. They don't want to stand up. Okay. Well, there are dinosaurs in there. They're 
They're extinct and they're tired. Okay. Gosh, these are huge. Sour Patch Kids Watermelon and Big Kids. We have Trolley Sour Bright Crawlers. There's a, that Trolley bag wants to attack me. size. These are, oh, Jelly Belly Gummy Sours. That's cool. Well, they sort of stand up. <laughs> Where did you come from? All right. <laughs> we have Airheads Extremes. Rips. What is that? I've never seen that in my life. on there. Okay. They don't want to stand up too well. Twizzlers down there. They're all Jolly Ranchers. Oh, they're the little root beer barrels. Great value. These are all Twizzlers. Parabo. Where did you come? Oh, it's oh, it's up there. Okay. I know that looks like a hot mess, but I I can't really do anything about it. What have we done? Well, I don't really know that it looks any better. <laughs> Not really. I choose. Sounds like a sneeze. Oh, we have Starburst Pops. That's cool. More Swirlers. Wow, they have a lot of these. And it's the same type. Mamba Magic Sticks. Mamba, that was another thing he liked. I'm going to get him a bag of Mamba. He loves that stuff, but he hasn't been able to have that either. Raffy Taffy. Ooh. We have a little surprise yowie. A yowie surprise. Kitty Pez dispensers. Those are cute. Then we have the Smart Sweets that we saw at Target. I'm going to get him some Nerds Gummy Clusters. Partly because I want to try them as well. But he couldn't have stuff like that. We have one little high chew bag, a small one. It's just going to have to sit there. Look at this big container of Haribo Gold Bears. Wow, that's a lot. Hey, this is just a tiny section of this aisle. <laughs> Look at all those Sour Punch Twists. Wow, what is that? 
Warhands Galactic Mix Cubes. Ooh, Black Hole Cherry, Cosmic Punch, Rocket Raspberry. Ooh, that sounds cool. Slightly smaller bags of Jolly Ranchers. Right there. We have Sours, Gummies, Misfits, two, two flavors in one. That doesn't go there. That actually comes down here. try to move that. I can't even reach up there. Oh, I love these. The little vanilla flavored Tootsie Rolls. Those are so good. Hard candy. That big bag goes there. Pepo Mint. Oh, lemon drops. The little strawberry candies. Assorted fruit card candy. Okay. We even have Haribo Star Mints, little chewy mints. These don't go here. Where do they go? Let's see. This goes here. This one goes right here. Okay. Well, I mean, if you just focus on what we did and don't look at the rest of it, it looks, looks somewhat better. You can get great value, sour belts that don't want to stand up. These are cinnamon discs. Wow, that's full and butterscotch discs. What's back there? Oh, somebody got hungry. They chewed on the pool torpedoes. Look at that. That's unfortunate. Somebody literally chewed on that. Somebody's kid was walking around with it. You know, that were there, they were shopping and they let their kid use that as a chew toy while they shopped. <laughs> Okay. Where was I? All the peach rings are in there backwards for some reason. Watermelon slices. They are all in there. Literally every one of them is backwards. They're why? Sour gummy ones. Set. Look at this. Wow. Look at ring pops, push pops, baby bottle pops, and juicy drop pops. Wow. 
He would like that, but I am not getting that. It's eleven dollars and eighty-four cents. I'm not, I'm not getting that. Look at this big pack. This is a uh, four, no, yeah, fourteen twenty for that. Big bags of candy, fruit slices. I'm just all over the place. But, I mean, for what we did, it looks a little bit better. I mean, it's not quite so horrifying. I think one day we need to just do like a marathon video. Because look, we didn't do any of this. We could just do a marathon video one day and straighten the whole thing. I'm not saying I will absolutely do that. <laughs> Because this is a long, long aisle. <laughs> but what if, I'm just saying what if. I mean, we didn't do any of the sharing sizes. We didn't do any of that. Look at, look at it all. Yes, we are definitely going to have to come back and do more one day. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all of the gum and the candy at Walmart. And again, like I said, maybe one day, if, if, if possible, if I can, it would be really long, but we could do a video organizing that entire aisle of candy and gum. I think it would take, I would be willing to bet it would take at least an hour and a half, probably more, um, because you have to remember too, I'm doing it one-handed, so it takes longer. So I do everything with I do everything this this hand right <laughs> so sometimes it's a little trickier than it looks but thank you so much for being here and for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see you again soon